this is related to efficacy um, interview questions because most of the interviewer may ask you did you have any experience in efficacy related data set or efficacy related programs but actually in the actual scenario most of the programmers don't get a chance to work on this efficacy uh, programs as well as efficacy output because uh, because you know uh, the statistician as well as the lead programmers to all these efficacy related things and the primary as well as junior programmers don't get a chance to work on these efficacy reports and today I'm going to explain you how will you get the p-value by using the proctoric statistics methods, methods, methods like chi-square, fisher exact, mandel hansen and CMH methods okay just here you see this is the data set actually we have here 14 subjects are there they have two different types of uh, categories in sex variable and two different categories in the arm variable like you know in the sex we have male and female two types of categories in this arm plus bow and active two types of category in this 2 into 2 means 2 by 2 responses p-value generally we use chi-square methods means first variable have uh, two types of uh, responses and second variable also have two types of responses and we need to go derive the p-value by using chi-square method here you can see the simple code like you know proc procedure just we mentioned chi-square here here and here just uh, in the output data set we just mentioned chi-square as well as in the slash after the cross comparison just we mentioned the chi-square and we'll get this data set under this just we are picking p underscore pchi variable for populating the p-value in the outputs by using the chi-square method what we are getting the data set just we need to populate the p underscore pchi variable in the output if the two by two responses we are using but in the output along we get a uh, warning 75 percent of the cell have expected counts less than five chi square may not be a value if you get this warning in this log just what we do in next just we use Fisher exact test method instead of chi-square method if any statistician is suggested we use directly exact method otherwise first we test with the chi-square method if it is not fitted and we are getting any error or warning just we are going to use Fisher exact method for 2 by 2 responses like you know just we mentioned the exact here the sky square here and exact here for the same sex and arm variable if here if you see the data set the sex variable has two responses male and female and the race variable has asian black white three types of responses in that time what we need to do it is two by three responses in this case 2 by 3 and 3 by 2 3 by 3 responses just we use directly Fisher exact method and just this is the code the sex versus race here we are putting chi square and here we are using exact method like you know as it is and we are getting this data set in this data set our variable is xp2 underscore fish this is the p-value variable we are just populating this p-value in the output data set or output table or listing anything just by using the Fisher exact method xp2 underscore fish variable we need to populate in the output it is 2 by 3 3 by 2 3 by 3 complete what about 3 by 4 and 4 by 3 and 4 by 4 means the first variable has three types of responses and the second variable has four types of responses 
and uh, first variable has four types and second variable has three types of response otherwise first variable has four types of responses and second variable has four types of responses that time we go for the mantle hansen method the procedure is like fisher exact but the variable we picked up here p underscore mhchi is the right variable to populate our p value by using mantle hansen method in the output okay if more than two variables the uh, up to now we are talking about two variables if more than two variables like three to four variables are more than two variables that time we go for the cmh method then nothing but coherent mantle hansen method what is this here if you see three variables we are just cross comparing and just we put cmh as a method in the output as well as the tables column tables syntax just we get the p value for cms non zero correlation this is the value we need to populate in the output okay this is the methods generally we go for getting the p value by using proc freak method in interview they may ask you uh, did you have any work on the p value just you can say yes i derive my p value by using proc freak procedures uh, chi square exact mantel hansen and coherent mantel hansen method this is the methods i used in my company just you say like that only and thanks for watching my video please thanks for watching please like share comment and subscribe my youtube channel so i can uh, provide you more and more informative interview questions for you this is the link thank you